you guys, it's Ruby. Today we are staying at the Golden Nugget in downtown Las Vegas. Let's go check it out. Now we booked the run of the house option online, which means that they just kind of put you in whatever room's available. We did get here at about 10 a.m. and they told us it was gonna be $33 to pay for early check-in. We said that was fine and they told us because we paid for early check-in that they would put that towards an upgraded room. Never gonna say no to that. This is their king room in the rush tower. Let me show you around. So this is a well-appointed room. It's a great size. It feels massive. They have a sectional here in a really nice like brown leather and it's in great shape. It looks brand new. The bed I think is oversized. It might even be a California King, huge. I also noticed that they have a big mini fridge for you to put your things in as well as a Keurig coffee maker. Now it is important to note, I saw on a tablet at the front desk that the coffee maker and the fridge are only in the spa and the rush towers. If you book the two cheaper towers, they are not in there. That is definitely worth noting. The entertainment center looks like it has a pretty new TV. There is a nice desk area here with a mirror, perfect for doing my makeup. And as far as our view goes, it's okay. It's mostly rooftop. We can see the dome, although we are tucked back far enough. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too loud, but I will let you guys know in the morning. The bathroom is a wow. <laughs> This feels like you're almost in a suite. There are double doors to open up in here. You have a dual vanity sink with like a backlit mirror, really nice. The shower looks new, although they do have a shower curtain. I don't love that. But I have to say, in terms of bathrooms on Fremont, this one's amazing, and this is definitely one of the nicer rooms we've stayed in downtown. <laughs> We've only stayed at the Nugget once, and it was years ago, and we really didn't explore it to its fullest potential. This is a big property, and there's a lot to do. Honestly, we should just get going. Where we're going? Salt Grass is the newest restaurant in Golden Nugget. It is a steakhouse, but they also serve breakfast and lunch. We're doing a steakhouse later today, so I thought some lunch here would be appropriate. Let's see what they have. We decided to get the grilled chicken sandwich. It's got bacon, there's pickles, fresh veggies on it. It's really delicious, and the fries here are really nicely seasoned. They're good. Menu items are all around like 20 bucks-ish. It's a big restaurant, country themed. I think this is a great casual lunch spot. Now believe it or not, Golden Nugget actually opens their pool a month before any of the other hotels. It's February, it's not even that warm, but we can go see how their pool is. This is just a looking for a pool vacation downtown, Golden Nugget is going to be one of my top recommendations for you. This is a beautiful pool, water features. They also have the shark tank in the middle and you can go in the slide that goes through it. I've done it, it's a ton of fun. They also have a hot tub here, which is fantastic because they open so early. It's only like 60 degrees right now. The water's a little cold, that hot tub, amazing. This is definitely the spot. They have tons of chairs. They even have a little fire pit out right now. So a great 
pool area for downtown, probably one of the best. Golden Nugget has to be one of the most popular casinos downtown, and for good reason. It's large, huge variety of slots, and the drink service is good. Tables today, $5 minimums on both roulette and blackjack, which surprised me, although the blackjack is six to five. It's easy to see why this one is so popular. It's very lively, good vibe. However, the walkways are narrow, and I will say, it's almost always busy, and especially at night and on weekends, you can barely move in here. For those of you that are a little bit claustrophobic like me, it is something to be aware of. Also on the casino floor, they have a sizable poker room. It looks really busy. There's a nice sports book. It looks like a really good size. And they also have a high limit room. Lots of good game options. We get our butts whooped every time we play in there, unfortunately. It's getting to be dinner time, and there is a restaurant in here that has been recommended to us time and time again. It is time we go check it out. We just got seated here at Vic and Anthony's. What a beautiful dining room. Honestly, I'm loving the ceiling and just all the art and everything they have on the walls. They started us off with some bread and butter. I ordered the fall of 46 cocktail, which is bourbon, orange juice, cinnamon, and cranberry. One of the best cocktails I've had in a while. Going to try to recreate that at home. Obviously, we're at a steakhouse. We're definitely getting some steak, and we will see what else we order started out our meal with two different appetizers that you guys should absolutely order. The bacon appetizer was these two thick strips of Newski's bacon. There was smoke, there was brown sugar, there was cracked pepper. It was delicious, easily shareable. And then we got the pear and blue saga blue cheese salad. The dressing on this was a tangy, creamy vinaigrette and it complemented the sweet candied pecans and the pears. It blew us away, it was honestly so good. Now onto our steak. We decided to get a 12 ounce filet to split. Perfectly prepared at medium, the char is excellent. We also got the au gratin potatoes as their side, it's their staple, really cheesy and delicious. So I knew we were in for a good meal, but this is exceeding my expectations. Everything has been really delicious. The food at Vic and Anthony's was wonderful. I absolutely recommend it. We split everything and I got a cocktail and it ended up being like $157 before tip, so pretty good price point. We are so full and so tired, we could honestly just roll into bed. But before that, I think we need a little nightcap and find ourselves a lounge. There are plenty of places to grab a drink here at Golden Nugget. If you want to do people watching, they have the Troy Liquor Bar, which is upstairs, and they have that big patio where you can see outside. That one's only open on the weekends. They also have a stage bar right across from the stage. You can sit, do some people watching, watch the shows, a ton of fun. It's windy, unfortunately, and a little cold. So we decided on the Rush Lounge, and we lucked out because starting at 8 o'clock in about 15 minutes or so, they are going to have a live band that goes until midnight. So this is just tucked right into the casino floor. I got a pink Cadillac margarita. I think we are going to enjoy the band for a while. Call it a night here, and we'll catch you guys all in the morning. thoughts on Golden Nugget. We did go to the Claim Jumper restaurant this morning and I don't recommend it. It was basically strip prices and although my pancakes were good, Mr. Ruby's um, biscuits and gravy, he said it was not good. So I would skip that. We booked run of the house, which I really like doing because you really never know 
if you're gonna get an upgrade or not. In total, with resort fees and taxes, it was $109, and then we paid that $33 check-in fee, which is when they upgraded us. I did try to check what the prices were for these rooms. They were double what the standard run of the house rate is. That is expensive for Fremont. I actually thought about like turning down the upgrade and I said something and the guy kind of looked at me funny and then I realized these reviews are supposed to be like just my experience and what happened to me if I were just any traveler coming and checking in and I don't think anybody would turn down the upgrade, so we just took it. This room was very nice. It's huge. The bathroom is excellent. I had only like two complaints. There were not enough outlets, and <laughs> there's also a really weird placement for a full-size mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> Arguably, Golden Nugget has the best pool downtown. I do think that's one of the reasons they can charge more to stay here than other places, because it's awesome. The property as a whole is pristine. This morning, I have never seen so many people like cleaning and wiping things down and vacuuming. They do a great job of maintaining the standard here at Golden Nugget. All the walls, all the floors, everything is so properly maintained that it does give a much more upscale feel. Oh, and by the way, we could hear the dome. It wasn't as bad as a lot of places, but you could definitely still hear it. I would say for those of you that come to downtown because you want bang for your buck and you want a good deal, I think some of the other downtown properties give you a little more for your money and aren't charging quite as much for like food and amenities and things like that. We like it. I would come back. You guys should let me know in the comments if you would like me to just book the Carson Tower, the cheapest tower, and specifically stay in that one and see what the rooms are like in comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. As always, thanks for being here, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Heard